Okay, so hey everyone. What we're going to do today is kick off this home lab series. So for a while now, I've had a two mini PCs, basically very low spec. As you can see, these were, um, they've got what, eight, 16 gig of memory, 32 gig of memory, um, some, uh, yeah, some smaller disks in there, some local disks to basically run a, an operating system. And I've got ESXi 8 installed. And you can see I've got two of them. And then you can see I've got a couple of virtual machines. So what I wanted to do in this is kind of just give a bit of an overview of my home lab, which is no, by no means like exhaustive in terms of like, we're not going to run some production workloads in here. You'll see a couple of things in here. So one is a book review. I'm going through an enterprise uh, Kubernetes for the enterprise third edition. So I wanted to just spin up a simple Ubuntu 2204 VM. And I'm really just running through a lot of the, the, uh, the code around so that's using kubernetes in in docker as the basis for kubernetes clusters so i'm using that there that will get blown away once it's done i then have some i would call them they're quite important so the devops management and we're going to go through what that will look like we've got the mission critical minecraft server for my for my son which should be it's not being used at the moment he doesn't have his pc for christmas so as and when we'll start to see some load on on there we've got our vbr server so how do we protect these virtual machines and the new virtual machines that that come into the mix later on we have our vmware vcenter server and we have our wordpress machine that for some reason is turned off it's probably more so for for demos if if we ever get into the vbr side of things you'll see that i've probably got director object storage or some sort of demo that that uses that now in terms of storage i have the local storage that you see here so data store one and data store one um on the other on the other host and then i have two netgear nas i have a very small netgear i think it might be a 312 um basically two or three disks in there in a in a raid configuration and the the bigger one with some ssd is the 716 so hopefully we see the majority of our machines running on there what you'll see here is that we have a lot of fcds or we have a lot of virtual machines that actually don't exist anymore and we need to go through and clear them out but that's a job for another day on here we have a few of the machines running um but really what i'm trying to do is keep this as a as a um as a as a backup vmfs target where we where we store so these are these are configured as nfs or yeah both nfs so actually not vmfs at all okay so that's where we're storing our, our virtual machines hopefully on here we don't have so what we probably need to do is actually think about moving these also off of here and onto the shared storage for a bit of um high availability but again not the issue for today so what we want to do here is really draw out what um what it is we have and also then start advancing on what it is that we want to what we want to achieve so to begin with we have our let's say our home lab and it actually does sit on a separate VLAN inside of my normal uh, home network. So if we just do this and we just do that, so we'll know that's our network. Now within here we have our, our two hosts. And then I'm going to start listing out some of those. So if I... No. So let's start by. So one of the hosts is 168.169.179. That comes out horribly. How do you make that smaller? Can we make it even smaller? And the second host is. Uh, 
is 180. And that makes up our physical environment. And maybe what we also want to do is just add our storage in here as well. So these are also physical boxes. So what is that's a very good point storage netgear so this is the smaller one of the two and this is on dot two this excalibur is an awesome tool as well everyone should have it locally installed i know you can get to it on a on a web page as well okay so then let's copy that and we've got our second which is three three even and this is the so let's just check one one two What is this one? Just for clarification, so system. Okay, so it is a it is a three one two, a ready NAS three one two. Again, I'm not saying that this is ever nowhere near cutting edge or anything special. I think the idea of this whole series is that you can turn some pretty basic mini PCs into something useful for your for your own learning is is kind of my my take here so let's just make sure that that one is our 312 move that up here uh, copy this down here and we've got our 716 and really that's where we want to eventually we will be storing our um, Um, our all of our virtual machines so then we have our virtual center so our virtual center and that is on 192.168.169.181 let's see if we can make that fit in there And then we have our so I know that my I think that's the Minecraft server so let's just update that And then probably the only one that I, w I will, and I believe that to be 201. And this is my DevOps management. Maybe. Let's just confirm that. Back to VMs. 201 cool okay uh, and then VBR is 185 so that's actually a good and the important reason why I left this one down here is because this will have docker installed so let's go to where i was going this is the logo for vsphere let's copy that 
we can't have that. We need a transparent one. That doesn't look very transparent to me. Not just that. Not just that. Come on. That'll do. Let's see what it looks like first of all. Back into here. Yep, we can make that work. I don't know what changed the colour of these boxes. I quite like the purple. Um, let's... Is there a sp specific one for virtual center? Probably something like that. Not really. It's not that old. Let's just use that same one, but let's shrink it down so that we can do something like, I don't know, something like that. We could do the same for Veeam. So again, what we'll probably do is cover Veeam in a little bit more detail. I know that there is a pat uh, well, a up major update to to uh, to use there. That doesn't look very transparent. Anyway, I don't want to waste time just go just copying and pasting. Minecraft is Minecraft, but the idea here is that on this DevOps we have we're going to have Docker installed and within Docker we are going to add some additional so let's do that and this is really where i want the hub of what we're trying to achieve from a, a home lab perspective so obviously here we have very few virtual machine workloads today i can see like the need for for more but really for my own learning i want to be able to spin up multiple environments as in kubernetes environments just to learn from demonstrate from all of that good stuff so from a docker point of view the first thing that i intend to install would be rancher let's use this one why wouldn't you just have these as although that's probably going to come up dreadfully so let's use this one. Oh, it was coming. There we go. So these will be this will be running on here as a Docker container. Alongside I want to play around a bit more with Portainer as well. So let's take this one should be good. So that'll that'll arrive in there as well. Now, my thinking was at this stage to also run HashiCorp Vault in here versus Docker. 
on a Kubernetes server that I always have to basically keep keep running. Um, let me. Does that even work? Probably look terrible if we. And that was kind of that's the plan. And the reason why is that if I intend to. Like if this virtual machine ends up being moved, maybe to I have a I have a desktop machine over here as well that is quite beefy that is sat next to my home lab. It's actually what I'm using to record here. If I was to use something like VirtualBox on here and move this over to here, maybe that would be a segregation of think of this as an actual management. And the idea here is that I would have Terraform installed and be able to actually use this box as my uh, orchestrator if you will but let me know what you think to that because what i want this to do is obviously drive the ability to spin up my kubernetes clusters so con control plane etc And I guess I need to look into more about what Rancher can allow me to achieve. But the idea here is then we'd have some workloads on here, but maybe it's not as important. Like, so understand that obviously this is the physical hardware available to us. At the moment, I am looking into other mini PCs like, I uh, what is it, Lenovo Think Centers and stuff like that. So... That gives you an idea about what the home lab architecture looks like or what I intend at least this first stage to look like. A couple of questions that I have is, should this be here or should I run that on a separate machine? Should I, where, where should I run this? I think these two are self-explanatory. I need this to run some, I can't have this run on a cluster unless I'm going to build this from scratch, which I, my, I want this to be my Kubernetes orchestrator. I want this to go and create my my clusters based on a couple of the templates that I have available, mainly around Ubuntu 2202. Or am I better off building a virtual machine on here in VirtualBox on this machine that gives us that actually I just run this whole whole piece on all on the same network, all in the same room. So I think that could also work the only difference is is that we wouldn't be leveraging this so the question is uh where do i run hashicorp vault um yeah and i think the idea here is that this isn't just for local, I want to be able to use this to deploy my EKS and other other clusters out in the out in the cloud as well, um, because the idea is is that we'll we'll run workloads on here, and I'll I'll get to what that looks like later. So so if we think, uh, let's just do this. So so that's your desktop PC. And then you've got um, okay. So I know that was a very brief, or maybe even long-winded way of of looking at the the home lab, but I'm just really documenting this for myself as well. But if you're there and you can answer some of the thoughts that I've got, or some of the options, maybe I'm missing something. Um, also, what other what other um what other docker containers should i run here or should i run them inside the this cluster let me know 